the Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 update went ahead and buffed a lot of the weapons in the game, one of which was the Striker, and oh my days, it's nasty. They increased the mobility, making it one of the fastest MGBs, and I got a crazy MGB with it on that brand new Grease map. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got the sun in my eyes, I can't really see, but we're gonna try to get through this. So, I wasn't gonna run a muzzle on this build, but this gun is basically good with no attachments, and you don't really need to, like, add a laser or anything like that, and so... I would actually really recommend you guys to add the Shadow Strike Suppressor. I kind of run this on a lot of my builds. It's just going to keep you off the radar so the enemies don't know where you're at. Plus, they're not going to hear where you're at. And so it actually makes going on streaks so much easier. Although you aren't really getting any other pros besides not being on the radar. So if you do want to use this thing like an AR and you just want to maximize that damage range, the muzzle I do recommend you guys to try out is going to be the L4R Flash Hider. This one's going to basically eliminate all of the recoil on the weapon. And then it is going to hurt the ADS speed. But we just got a buff to the ADS speed and so it's really not going to be too noticeable. The only thing you're going to notice is the increase of your recoil control. I need to get into their spawn. We're on to 25. MGP! If you're tired of getting too jittery while playing games or just the feeling of nervousness, I highly recommend you guys to try out a can of infused focus by Valvidian. Their formula is geared towards helping you focus without using excessive amounts of caffeine. You can use code CBAS for 20% off to support my channel, and they have a 100% money back guarantee in case you don't like the drinks. For the next attachment, we're going to go ahead and increase the range of the gun. I kind of run this attachment on every single striker build, and if you are making your own striker build, I do recommend you guys to run it on all of yours as well. So with this barrel, the striker recon long barrel, we are going to get an increase of our damage range by 18.3%, which is actually a pretty big boost. But overall, it's not going to be super noticeable. Still a big boost, but it's not going to be super noticeable, which is why you can kind of get away with not running a barrel. It's just with the barrel. I do notice I'm winning way more gunfights at like that medium range. And with the headshot damage being 46, you can get a four shot headshot kill in this game with this gun. And then uh, if you are using the striker, you can get that four shot kill up to 11.4 meters now, if that makes sense. But that is going to be bringing down the mobility by a decent amount. But we already have a lot of mobility on this SMG and they just buff the mobility. And so now we can basically get away with running a lot of like recoil control and damage range attachments and still feel very fluid on the map. For the underbarrel, we are going to be adding something to help with that recoil control. Usually I would add the skeletal vertical grip, but lately I've been really liking the Camaro one. So this one basically is going to give us a lot lot of vertical recoil control and a lot of recoil gun kick which that recoil gun kick is just like the smoothness of your recoil yes we are gonna have a little bit more horizontal on this gun but you guys are gonna see in the gameplay we're beaming like crazy there really isn't any horizontal recoil on the weapon and so the Camaro is a great option to throw on here the reason i used to like these skeletals because it would give you a little bit of recoil control and you would get a little bit of mobility but since this thing just got more mobility we don't really need to increase it even more and so now we have a lot of recoil control the enemies aren't gonna know where we're, we are at and we are going to have a lot of range allowing us to use it up to medium range but it still is going to feel a little bit slow and this last attachment i guess would say is more of a personal preference thing for me i would rather add the lockman mk2 light stock just because i am pretty aggressive this is going to boost up the mobility allowing me to move around the map about 4.4 percent quicker so then i'm actually going to be able to get more kills since i can run around the map quicker and get into more engagements although that is going to be hurting the recoil control but that's why we are going to be adding this underbarrel that's going to compensate all of that if you want to or okay if you this last attachment and this attachment personal preference so if you want to add more recoil control then i would add the sock and zx grip this one's going to give you a lot of firing aiming stability so now it's going to be easier to stay on target as you are firing your weapon and you're just overall going to get a lot of recoil control so this build right here is a phenomenal one if you want to add an optic to your build uh, the optics i do recommend are going to be the slate reflector cronin this one check it out real quick this one i don't really use it on an smg on ARs. It's pretty funny. You guys can see very open sight. We have a laser, which is a little bit annoying, but it adds a lot of stability and it also increases that mobility. And so it just makes the weapon very, very easy and fun to use. And so this is one of my favorite sights in the game. It's just that laser is a little bit annoying at times. And so usually if I'm going to add a optic, I'm going to be adding the NIDAR model 2023. If I can find it on here, there's just so 
so many optics in this game all my days but i actually really like the mk3 reflector a little bit more just because it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing i don't know where that nidar is so the nidar is like that circle one from vanguard but if i am gonna run an optic i usually run the mk3 because it just looks cooler the other one i like is like a big round sight but this one just you know you just feel like a badass when you're using this gun with this sight and so this build right here is another very good one if you want to add a laser out at the vok you don't really need a laser on this build but it does increase that mobility a decent amount and adds a lot of stability if you want to increase your damage range honestly i would add the high grain rounds but since we are going to be losing recoil control yes we do have a lot of range which makes the weapon feel very good but it's going to be a little bit hard to use at that range so if you do add the high grain you might want to take off that stock and then add the socket so you get more recoil control if you guys do want a screenshot of the build this is a very high range striker build the one that i'm rocking in the gameplay is going to have this stock and then we are going to be adding a 48 round mag yes there are a lot of cons but you have so much ammo and so you can play very aggressive and then this stock is going to basically mitigate all those cons for the rest of the class i am running the infantry vest just so i can run around the map and i can tax sprint a little bit longer and then for the second i got the renetti i know every video i literally say i'm gonna mix it up i'm gonna give you guys other builds but it's it's just so hard to not run the renetti the renetti's so fun to use i absolutely love this gun for the lethal we are running some attacks i used to like the breacher drone but there's so many engagements where the breacher hits them and it doesn't do anything and i just don't understand it at all it's like super inconsistent the stim super nice if i'm playing search the smokes are honestly pretty overpowered covert sneakers are very nice on any of the big maps if i am on that meat map or maybe rust or high rise then i'll usually run like stock or a lightweight since the enemies don't really have time to hear you scavenger just because i'm always running out of ammo in this game even with the munitions box if i'm not going for nukes i will always run the assault gloves so that my ads is a little bit more accurate as i'm jump shotting and playing aggressive with the smg and then another one that i like on here is going to be the trophy system that's pretty good on those high aggressive maps overall though a lot of the stuff is personal preference you just kind of you just add it to like your play style grenades i get hit with a lot of grenades so that's why i run eod if there's not too many grenades i'll run the ghost the other ones i don't really care about any of these and that's gonna wrap it up so let's get into the nasty mgb gameplays yo ladies and gentlemen i don't know how i got this map but we got this map first time queuing domination today it's my second game on so the fingers are very cold and we all know it's very hard to play with cold fingers no matter what you're doing it's hard to play with cold it's hard to do anything with cold fingers but we are gonna secure a nuke if i can find these enemies i've never played uh, don't know no i've never played on this map before so i really don't know how it works i don't know where to go i don't know where the enemies are spawning in it's my first life ever imagine we get a nuke first life on this map so i'm assuming that's a pretty common spawn point maybe i could rotate this area enemies are they were capturing b and so i took them off that man i'm curious if they played this house a lot oh wait no don't reload your gun it's war soldier where's this man going wait oh he's going on that giga flank okay then teammate immediately takes him out so i have all these striker builds i've given you guys this is definitely my favorite one this one's a nasty build. I love it. So we got a couple enemies on C. I'm going to let them capture it. Because I kind of want them to get some points. I need them to get some confidence. Think that they can win. And then I'm going to drop a f***ing nuke on them. So we're on a five right now. Not doing too shabby. I got a guy over here. No. Okay. Oh, yo, that was nasty. Wait. Why is there so many? Okay, that's a crazy spawn point. A lot of dudes over there okay thank god you can maybe you can get behind there but i don't think you can because that'd be so annoying to play against edp looking for his cupcakes again of course so i can kind of rotate this building it seems like i don't really push over here unless it's just this lobby every lobby kind of plays a little bit differently yo that guy i did not like his voice that guy freaked me out hi gabby Gabby. Hey yo, what the fuck? That was the creepiest Gabby I've ever heard in my life. All my days. What was that? I don't. I, I, that, that dude's definitely having some predator pasta right now. Should have had him. Should have had him. Watch him be like a fan of the channel, and then he's just getting humiliated right now. But that was that was creepy. Gabby. Oh sh. Here we go again. No, that's creepy. I feel like I should turn on my mic and say something. I feel like this dude's trying to catch a case. Hello? There we go. Is it EDP? Wait, oh my days. I see an EDP on the other team. And then I hear an EDP. Maybe that is an EDP. Oh my god. Boys, I think we have a rare encounter with an EDP. 
I don't want that Pokemon. Oh, my God, why do you have to fucking die? You know, I like when you when you pop off. But don't kill them this quick. But my fingers are so cold right now. I hate playing like this. Oh my days. I need to like. Oh, oh wait. I know exactly where this dude's going at. Okay, this map is very weird. Oh, I got double kill. Oh, sorry, teammate. Got to be better than that. Oh, sometimes I just lose all of my aim assist. Or it's just my cold fingers. So all my teammates are over there. So the enemy should be on C. Bro, this map is weird. I, I do like it. But I also don't know if I like it. I think once I learn it, we're good. I just seen a guy on that bridge. I don't want to capture this flag. Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we got the Vito again. Once I get the advance UV, every... I'm going to let that guy keep pushing up. Well, sometimes I just, like, lose aim assist. I don't even know what it is. I'm on my buddy's account right now for with the Interstellar, so maybe maybe it's like Reese's account or something. I don't know. But I swear I like have worse accuracy on this account. Like something's off. Maybe it's just my controller. I have like insane stick drift, so maybe I just gotta get a new controller or something. Okay, advanced UAV. Oh, EDP's back. Oh shit. Fucking snipers do I saw a telescope. There we go, boys. Oh, you know what's going to be crazy? Next year, we have Nuketown. That's going to be so sick. I'm not going to call on the Vito. Because I don't want to get all my kills again. You know what? I'm just going to swim for a second. I know it's a little... What? That's probably the most annoying streak in the entire game. But that reminds me. I do have a Vito. Oh, I'm trying to unlock the Vitos. Okay, if I get a nuke in here, boys, you guys got to leave a like. You guys got to leave a like if I get this nuke. You have to. Because... We were supposed to get the nuke right there. And then we just sold so hard. No, I didn't even sell. It's just the game, dude. The game sold. I'm just going to set this there. Add some extra pressure onto the enemies. There we go. Nope. I don't see anybody. Shit. Bro, I keep getting shot in my back on this map. Let me know if you guys like this map. I'm curious of your guys' thoughts on the map. And I'm sorry for not being so, you know, fast to reply to comments. I've been just, like, so busy. And then I, like, miss a video and then I miss another one. I, I try to go back and reply to all the comments because I love getting the comments. I have, like, no, like notifications enabled. So whenever you guys, like, leave a comment, I see it pop up on my phone. So I love when you guys leave comments. And so I... Oh, this is crazy spawn trap. And so I feel really bad when I don't respawn. But just know, I always read them. And I do my best to respond to them. Especially you, Mr. Lightning McQueen. Oh, no. I just missed every shot. I just missed every shot. Dude, what is wrong with you? It has to be the controller. There's no way. It's like this, randomly my accuracy... Is, my accuracy has not been that good. But if I keep saying that, my accuracy really won't be good. So I have the, the best accuracy in the world. I'm the best player in the world. Nobody's better than me. I'm going to get a crazy MGB. And, you know, before I get any comments of people are like, oh, you, you should try playing against super, super sweaty people. Dude, I have. I used to stream rank play every day. And so once rank plays back out, I'll be playing against the best of the world again. Hitting that iridescent as fast as possible. I'm actually curious how fast I can hit the... Oh, I guess if you want to hit iridescent fast, it's kind of like playtime. And I make a lot of videos and do other things too. And, you know... Gym and oh, I haven't been to the gym in a bit since I had bronchitis, but the bronchitis kind of clearing up overall, though. I'm gonna hit that iridescent last year. I actually made a video of me beating Octane, which is the he's the MVP of Vanguard. Okay, I, I know this water is not safe at all. Oh, fuck did he hit me with? He got you with that predator pasta, my man. Those predator ones, dude thought he bought some Jordans. Now he's got those predator ones. So I let those guys run past just so they would have a little bit like so uh basically they would all be in front of my sights. I gotta warm up my vocals too. First time recording today, so I'm like I, I'm not good at the uh, commentary while playing. That's actually a skill that I realized that you have to like ah EDP is a fucking missile. 
that's like a skill that you got to develop is like learning how to talk and play because i'll be trying to talk to like a homie but like he has to focus or like my brother you know i'll call him he's playing like fortnite or something but like he cannot talk and play but for me i can talk and play pretty easily and i realize it's like a skill that you have to develop okay this dude's got a sniper is he not gonna push can i go in this water wait yo dude this map is crazy whenever you play on a map try to like really use the map to your advantage Okay, so that water thing is still works. That was the first time I've really tried it, where you hop out of the water. Like, you basically jump out of the water when you're like... Okay. You hop out of the water. Wait. About like two feet away from the ledge. So then your guy doesn't have the option to mantle. But if you jump out fast enough, he will basically just fly out. So then you'd never have to mantle. And you can like kind of get the jump on the enemies. Oh, NGP. Oh, my days. Yo, I'm going to save Gary. Who, like, I, I'm pretty sure he was saying Gary. Whichever name that he was saying. I'm going to save that person because that 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 predator on my team or the other team, he needs to go. He needs to go. That shit was really creepy. Oh, my God. Oh, yo. Okay. No, I was spawning back there. I actually really like this map so far. Spawn seem very predictable. I kind of always know where the enemies are at. And so... Uh, been actually really enjoying this but i kind of want to go oh, on the meet and see if i can get a dead. really a really crazy gameplay let's freaking go if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button with the notice on we're about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers which is very crazy to say and then also leave a like while you're at it no oh, but i'm trying to get that nice inspect trying to get the inspect come on trying to get that sunny inspect let's freaking go boys mgps it's too easy I was a nasty MGB. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we just landed on some meat. We're about to grind the meat. Bro, I feel like they should have got like an RB spawn. Oh, let's see how crazy we can go. I know on this map, I can get a lot of kills. MGBs are a little bit tough. And so I'm just going to go for basically as many kills as possible and just keep on playing aggressive. See if we can get like 150 kills. And so there is a lot of headies on this map. So if you ever feel like you're getting overwhelmed, try to just... Uh, you know play around the headies like there's uh, you guys will see as i'm playing through this match you'll probably learn a lot of oh dude he's up my ass see what i mean bro the spuds are insane it's so crazy it's like everything's fine then all of a sudden there's so many enemies on you maybe that's why they call the meat because the enemies are always on your meats on the map so i did just increase my sensitivity i found myself like missing shots because i couldn't like track the enemies as well and so i increased it to seven and so this is my first game on seven i feel like i'm gonna like it more i think i actually like meant to have it on seven so i'm not on my account right now i'm on my my uh, my uh, mods reese and so just because he has all the mastery camels and i'm too lazy to get them at the moment but what are you doing and so i always gotta change the settings and i think i accidentally didn't really add the exact settings are on my account so I was like, I don't really, like, I remember playing on six, but then I remember, like, switching it. Okay, that Shaman guy, he left the game. Thank God, dude, I made him rage. Dude, I need him out. He's literally a scuba man. Dude is underwater. He's in a submarine. Still missing a couple shots here and there, but overall, not too much. Okay, we should be able to get this crazy MGB on my days. Okay, I want to call in this VTSOL and the Sentry Gun and start spawn trapping like crazy. Let's call that in right here. We're going to call... Oh, wait. I got to kill this guy. And then I got to make sure the VTOL doesn't land on me. That spawns are probably flipping. There we go. I'm going to place this down right here just to see if that does anything. Kind of want to see what's the craziest spawn trap I can get on this map. Because this map, you can get some insane spawn traps. Oh, look at that. Look at the feeds, boys. The feeds are in. Hostile mosquitoes online? Bro, no. See right there. That's what I kind of mean by playing unpredictable. I kind of use these headies. Right, so they saw me there. So I need to cut into here. So then they can't really predict where I'm going to be at. This is what I don't like is when the enemy spawn there. And they spawn over there. And oh my days. I almost ate his fucking drone dude. MGB. Whoa. Wait that was a fast MGB. Yo. That was a really fast MGB. Like after I placed down that centurion. I started going crazy. 
that's one way that you can get ngbs better is like don't even realize the streak you're on just literally just start gunning and just go as crazy as you can and just don't slow down don't mix up that play style because a lot of time when people go for the mgbs they'll notice that they're on a streak given you know okay this lobby is a little bit easier they're not like super sweaty but just in general people always slow down their play style when they're on that mgb streak so then it makes them choke the game because they're not playing the way that they got to, like they're not playing the way that they were playing to get to that streak right there is a great heady and so there's a lot of headies on this map just use all the headies that you can this is one reason i really like this class you have 48 rounds the enemies never know where you're at you have range so you can use it on anywhere on this map like this class is perfect for this map or basically any map yo 7.7 is feeling a lot better and so now i'm playing on 77.95 ads with dynamic and uh default that's feeling pretty good and uh yo everyone should go follow my kick I, i've been streaming on the kick a lot trying to grow that platform and you know i can play like copyright free music and do like more fun things on that stream i want to do like cooking streams and things i just need to be able to grow an audience on the kick because i don't really want to do that stuff on the youtube i usually on youtube it's like a little bit weird you got to do like whatever your videos are based around it seems like unless people are there strictly for your personality and so oh yo we might actually be able to get double right here the hell so i'm not gonna slow down though i'm just gonna keep playing the way that we've been playing to get on this streak get this guy out of the game i should call him my vtol i just don't want no where did he come from what was that that's such a weirdo but yeah you guys should all follow my kick and then i yeah i usually stream on youtube as you guys probably seen but uh you guys should definitely check out the kick give me a follow on there because i'm doing lots of words on streams on there i'm doing words on streams on the youtube as well but a lot of the words and streams will be on the kick well, a few hours on the YouTube and then most of the hours on the uh, on the kick. Okay, ladies and gents, let's see how how much we can finesse these dudes. Just keep going crazy on them. They're running inside, running from that Vito. Let me know in the comments. Even I've already asked you guys a million things. But you guys should let me know. What's your favorite gun right now? Since there's a couple buffs and nerfs, I think the Wasp Swarm might be my favorite. That's going to be my next video. Uh, you guys might see it today if you're watching this video when it initially came out. Because the Wasp Swarm is kind of crazy. Definitely meta in Warzone. And so I'll probably give a Warzone build as well. If, you, if you're on my Twitter, I post a lot of class setups as well. Sorry for, for all the plugs. But you guys got to follow the socials. You guys got to follow the socials. You know, might as well you know, follow the Facebook. There's a lot of funny dads on there. A lot of funny dad comments. Just call me Hacker. And then uh, my the Insta is pretty fire too. But on the uh, on the Twitter, I post a lot of class setups. And so if you don't want to like watch a video for a class setup, you can just you know follow the Twitter. Or you actually can get a lot of class tips off Twitter if you don't want to watch a video. That's where I get a lot of classes if I'm like streaming and I need a class immediately and I don't really have time to like test things out. I'll just go on Twitter real quick. I might die for my Vito. So I need to go inside. Guys, this might be my best meet the gameplay. Yesterday was insanely sweaty every single game. The oh no! Kind of keeps them from like being able to flank me. Let's go over here. Keep using our headies. That's one way that you can do a lot better on this map. Is just always use the headies. Yo, we are absolutely world star in this lobby. I would love if my teammates hopped off the objective so we can get more kills. I don't even know how many kills we have. I'm just going to wait as long as possible just to maximize our kills. Come on, I need a new hard point. Give the new hard points. Another remote turret. No, teammates, get out of the hard point. What are you guys doing, please? Please, teammates, hop out. Thank you. Now stay out the... Okay, okay. Objective switching. Can get a couple extra kills. I like when my teammates don't capture the objective, but then they capture a little bit because I'm killing all the enemies. And then the enemies are capturing, and then it's like a neck and neck game. That's where you get like the highest kill games. Okay, I gotta call on the MGB. Looks like my teammates are taking over. We got an MGB on meat. We're about to drop our meat onto the enemy's meat on the map called meat. Wait, bro, that was an insane sentence. What the fuck? Boom, boom, boom. Oh my days! Nasty nukes! Let's go! Woo. Okay, let's see how many kills I got. I'm very, very curious. I'm gonna turn on the mic, see if I can you antagonize the enemies a little bit. Yo, what happened, boys? What happened? You guys forgot how to use your guns? Juggernaut, what happened, man? Juggernaut for what? Juggernaut to get nuked? You took in my juggernaut, dude. I'm on the baby plan. Honestly, props to you, man. I'm so sorry, dude. No, no, no. I'm sorry, man. I feel so bad now. Psych! 